everyone and welcome to the first White Tiger Qigong Live. My name is Natalia, some of you might know me as Qigong Lady and uh, I'm a White Tiger Qigong instructor. I've been doing Qigong for since 2016. I've been uh, teaching it for over two years, various classes, workshops. I've been doing uh, uh, assisting the teacher training so I'm very excited today to share with you what I love and what I do and today we're going to learn uh, a really my favorite form actually one of my favorite forms Taiga from five elements and uh, this is the form that I learned the first this was the first form I learned and uh, it feels very special to me because this is what lit that spark in me and put me on the Qigong journey Yes, hello, hello. <laughs> so I'm very excited to share it with you. Plus, Tiger works on the lungs and uh, it's, uh, it improves your immunity. And this is very crucial right now Yeah, in the world that we are in, the situation that we are currently in. We need to strengthen our lungs. So these are the reasons why I chose this form today for my first class to be sharing it with you. And I know some of you might not be familiar with Qigong yet, so I'll just say in uh, simple words what Qigong is. So Qigong is an ancient system of movement and breath exercises that's been around for over 5,000 years. And currently there are many different styles of Qigong, over 3,000 kinds. And uh, I'm doing and I'm teaching White Tiger Qigong, which is uh, a medical Qigong that's based on principles of achieving health and longevity. So this type of Qigong focuses deeply on your meridians, wringing out them, working with your energy channels, it works with your organs, and finally the bones. So why Tiger Qigong? Um, through the movement, through the breath, through the intention, we are creating that energy flow in our body. Yeah, so to release any blockages, any stagnation that we might experience and uh, working with the organs as well. In the Chinese medicine it is believed that organs can store negative emotions. For example, taiga that we will learn today is for the organ of the lungs as I said and it focuses on releasing grief and stress from the lungs and instead replenishing it with joy and happiness. So. Apart from this, apart from uh, this view of the Chinese medicine, uh, White Tiger Qigong also incorporates the modern science perspective so we can tell you exactly what anatomy each form works on, what fascia lines, what kinetic chain. So this is what I truly enjoy because it bridges two different worlds and tell you the perspective how powerful this Qigong is from two different worlds. Okay, so I can talk about Qigong forever but uh, if you want to know if you want to know more you can just visit white tiger qigong website and now we're going to begin so today we're going to begin with standing qigong practice so we'll have a quick warm-up to get us you know up and running and then we will start the tiger we'll learn the tiger so place your feet shoulder width apart parallel to each other and we're going to put our hands over the Dantian. And the Dantian is our energy center, one of them. Yeah, we have three Dantians total. But uh, today we're going to just talk about the lower Dantian, which is located three finger widths below the navel and two finger widths behind it. So from there, just directly in the center. And uh, for women, we're going to put our right palm first and left palm over it. The thumb of the left hand is going to go in the center of your right palm and the thumb of the right palm is going to go in between this place of your thumb and index finger. And for men it's going to be the opposite. So put your left hand and right hand over it. The thumb of the right is going to go in the center of your left palm and the left thumb is going to go in between the index finger and the thumb of the right hand. Okay, so and place it over your dantian. Again, located three finger widths below the navel and two finger widths behind it. From there, just directly in the center. Close your eyes. Tongue touching the roof of your mouth.
and start rooting into the earth. Your feet are grabbing the ground with 10% tension. And we will begin to start realigning our body from down up. So feel your ankles over your feet. Knees over your ankles. Your knees are soft. Hips over your knees. Say, come gently drop into the earth. Take a deep breath in, elongate your spine. And breathe out, but keep your spine elongated, feeling the connection between heaven and earth. Take one more deep breath in and slow breath out, shaking your body for any areas of tension, sending relaxation energy into those areas. And remember them, see if this is changes after the practice. Now we will take three cleansing breaths, deep inhalations through your nose, inhaling fresh air, fresh chi. And slow exhalation out of the pinhole of your mouth, like blowing out of a straw. Releasing any pollution, any negative thoughts that you have clearing our mind. Take a deep breath in and slow breath out. One more on your own. gently open your eyes and we're gonna give our body a little shake out so you can jump a little bit you can just do it with your feet touching the ground and we really want to shake out our palms our hands gently warming up our body and releasing any tension making it loose and prepared for the practice. Really shake your wrists if you're working at the computer a lot. Very important. So the energy flows there. Shake your legs. We're gonna do it for a few more seconds. Shake your shoulders as well. The more you shake, the more you will feel the feelings in your palms. So if you do it at home, you can do it for up to 10 minutes. So your shaking becomes faster and smaller. Hold the ball between your palms. Inhale, expand the ball. And exhale, compress it. Inhale, expand. And exhale, compress. One more. Now place your palms gently by the side, open your eyes, and we're going to go into some meridian qigong exercises. So place your head forward as you exhale, pushing forward your pelvis, and 
As you inhale, bring your head back, pushing out your buttocks. Exhale forward. And inhale back. Exhale. And inhale. One more. And back to center. Now we're gonna twist to the side. Let's start with our right and as we twist we're gonna rotate our palms from the inside out. And back to center, rotating the hands in. Exhale as you twist. And inhale back to center. Exhale. And inhale, exhale, inhale, one more on each side, and back to center. Now we're going to go into the gentle head rolls, inhale as you roll back. And exhale as you roll forward. And switch to the opposite direction. Inhale as you roll back. And exhale forward. Back to center. Now we're going to do wrist and ankle flossing. So cross your fingers, the palms are touching together. And we're going to start rotating our wrists and ankles. And here you can have your feet up in the air or you can touch it to the ground. So whatever works for you. Switch to the opposite direction. And we're gonna do it on the opposite side. And opposite direction. Now we're going to warm up our palms. And put them over your kidneys. We're going to slowly start to spiral out with our middle body. Starting with small circles and growing them bigger. Head say centered. Going to your maximum and spiral in the same direction, just making the circle smaller and opposite direction, spiraling out. spiral in. Very good. Now cross your fingers. Inhale, stretching up, coming up on your toes. Exhale, bend to one side and gently rotate your body up, looking up. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, opposite side. Inhale and exhale. Okay, 
let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And relax. And we are finishing with opening heart to the sky. So bring your palms to your heart level and open them to the sides. Rotating them gently. Inhale. And exhale. Go like you're hugging yourself, coming up on your toes. Compressing the heart gently and drop. Inhale. And exhale. So really feel your heart opening here and we gently compress it, rounding the spine a little bit. Last one. And put your palms in front of your eyes, focusing the energy in the center of your palms. Inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to brush them against the thighs, inhale, raising up on the toes, and exhale, pressing down. So we're here, we're pressing the energy down through the center line of the body. On the exhale, and put your palms by the sides, letting go, knees are soft. Feet are parallel to each other, shoulder width apart. And as you inhale, bring attention to your lower dantian. And as you exhale, bring attention to the center of your palms. This is called two gate breathing. And again, inhale, bring attention to your lower dantian. That's located three finger width below the navel and two finger width behind it. And as you exhale, attention to the center of your palms. One more breath. And gently open your eyes very good so this was just a quick uh, warm-up and now we're gonna learn the tiger so before we do so just let me know if you can hear me if everything goes well and we will continue yeah just write me in the comments you can grab some water before we do tiger okay Good, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, I can see you can hear me, very good. So let's continue with the tiger. And as I mentioned before, tiger works on the lungs, releasing grief and stress. Yeah, and filling your lungs instead with joy and happiness. So we want to have this balance into our lungs, into every organ. Yeah, but tiger specifically focuses on the lungs. So first I will demonstrate it to you, then I will explain more benefits of Tiger, and then we will learn it component by component so you get it clearly. So this is tiger. As you could see from all these movements, yeah, 
focus on squeezing out the lungs with the exhale out then opening the lungs with the breath in and then straightening back again activating the lungs and opening again so it works with the meridians that run through your hands into your fingertips specifically the lung meridian that ends in your thumb so that's why it's very important to ring out and here we twist in activating that meridian activating the lungs it also works on the fascial line of the arms and uh, opening you know opening you up so if you have a uh, tight shoulders and chest tiger is going to be perfect for you also nowadays a lot of people work by the computer and they're constantly in this compressed positions you know typing with their neck pulled out so this is what ruins our body alignment yeah and if we do it for a long enough time this can create problems in our body so qigong helps us to uh, realign our body return it to where it should be so tiger specifically works on opening you up so if you're that person who works at the computer just do tiger after you work a little bit to open really open yourself up and plus again we're working with the breath in and breath out energizing our lungs yeah so let's begin and we're going to begin with learning the hand posture first so in tiger we're going to have a tiger core so you're going to make it by bending the first and the second joint of your fingers and uh, through the exercise we're going to hold about 30 percent of the tension and uh, you shouldn't let go of, any, of this tension yeah so don't go crazy don't push too much but have a little tension so it's enough for you to feel it and we're gonna just start at the hands here in the center okay and you can have them here you can have them a little high up depending where you feel the most opening so we're gonna make the tiger claw and press forward so here my elbows are straight and I have this 90 degree angle between my wrist and my forearm and again if your fingers if your palms don't go that far it can it can be just here so wherever you feel this tension from here we're gonna rotate outwards and draw the hands back to shoulders here we are open and our palms are rotated in yeah so pointing towards you then we're gonna bring our hands as close as you can under your armpits and straighten them back and again here you can bring them as high up as you can wherever you feel the tension and my hands are straight and again I have this 90 degree angle in yeah so not out in and we're gonna rotate it again and bring them back to shoulders very good twisting in here pushing forward rotate draw them back to shoulders coming down under your armpits you see I have already 90 degree angle here and we're gonna just straight it straight the hands rotate scoop back to shoulder level pressing forward rotate draw them back straighten your hands and back to shoulder level pressing forward and from here we're just gonna relax our hands put them by the sides see if you can feel anything in your palms your fingers 
feel the energy there is already. Very good. Gently open your eyes. You can give your hands a little shake. So we're going to do a few repetitions today. So don't put too much tension. In Qigong, we don't want to do anything too much. Yeah, it should be just relaxing, but at the same time, we should feel this tension. Okay, so very good. We're gonna do the hands over and over again, but now let's review our stance. So the stance for Tiger is very easy. It's called the horse stance. So we're gonna step out into our feet, pointing out at a 45 degree angle. Our knees should be just above our ankles. And again, here you can go higher, you can go lower. So wherever you feel enough tension in your legs. And again, we're gonna stay in this position for a while. So make sure you don't go too low, okay? And before we start, let's just do a quick warm up for the horse stance. Okay. Yeah, so just gently rolling, opening ourselves up a little bit. Let's do three more. Very good. And come back to center. You can give your legs a little shake. Okay, so since this is pretty easy stance and we're gonna just hold it for the whole length of the exercise, we are going to start doing the whole form. Let's start incorporating it together. We're going to step out into the horse stance and at the same time we're going to bring our hands next to our shoulders. Make the tiger claw and press forward. Rotate. Open. Remember to twist in here. Bring your hands under your armpits, straightening them back. Again, rotate. And back to shoulder level. Pressing forward. Rotate. Back, straightening. Remember to keep that 90 degree angle. Again, rotate. Shoulder level, pressing forward. Let's do one more in this set. Open, straighten your hands back, rotate, and pressing forward. We are going to come up gently, draw your hands towards you, and exhale, pressing forward and down. Put your hands by the sides, feet shoulder width apart. And let's do a few two gate breaths here. And as you inhale, bring attention to your lower dantian. And as you exhale, bring attention to the center of your palms. Very good. Gently open your eyes. You should already start feeling some heat in your body. Yeah, maybe some energy flow already if, if you've been practicing for a little bit. And uh, now we're gonna add the last detail of the tiger, the movement of the spine. Okay, so let's 
let's start together. Inhale. And exhale. This is the open. And we're going to again open in our core stance. And press forward. As we press forward, we tuck in the tailbone and gently round in the spine. We rotate the palms. And here we're going to open our chest. Straightening the hands and straightening your spine. Sacrum just dropping down and compound just rising up. Scooping, opening the chest. And gently compressing. One more. Open. Straightening the spine. Again, opening the chest and pressing forward rounding the spine and I'll do one from the side so just stay there okay so here I have a gentle compression open the chest straightening the spine here sacrum dropping down open And pressing forward and we're going to come up and pressing forward and down very good place your hands by the sides two gate breathing Feeling the energy flowing into your fingertips. And let's close this round for the meditation for our lungs. So we're going to inhale, bring your hands up. And on the exhale, we're going to flush out grief and stress from the lungs. Inhale, inhaling joy and happiness and filling the lungs with this emotion, creating a balance. Inhale, bringing in white light and filling the lungs with this white color energy. by the sides, deep and slow breaths into your lungs, see them filled with this white light, and put your hands over the dantian. See this white light accumulating in your lower dantian into the white pearl. And this pearl expands on the inhale and compresses on the exhale, packing the energy, storing the chi. into the small white pearl and gently open your eyes so this is how we usually close for the five element chico yeah we flush out the negative emotion then we bring in the antidote emotion and then the 
the light of the color of the energy. So the lungs are is the metal energy. So we're bringing the white color. It can bring the white gold into your lungs. We're gonna do it again at the end, so it will be more clear. But now we have done the body mechanics. Now let's add the breath. So we're gonna start with inhale and exhale. Inhale, open up, make the tiger claw and exhale, press forward. Scooping, opening, and exhale, pressing forward. Inhale, exhale, Let's hold for three seconds and exhale. Coming up, inhale and exhale. Place your hands by the side, feet shoulder width apart. Low, deep breaths into your lungs. Let's close just once, inhale, and exhale. Okay, very good. So we have learned the form, we have added the breath, and for you to remember the breath, just remember whenever we are here, at this position, we breathe in, opening the lungs. And in any other position, we exhale. So exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, yeah? So just remember, at the center, we always inhale. All right, very good. I hope it was clear for you, the tiger. So let's quickly review the checkpoints and uh, before we do our last set of just feeling into it. So the checkpoints, again, tiger claw, bending the first and the second joints of your fingers. When we press forward, our hands are straight and we have this 90 degree angle between our palm and the forearm. Mm -hmm. Then we rotate outwards and drawing the hands in here we twist in. Very important because we want to activate the lung region. Then straightening the hands back. Again, keeping this 90 degree angle, just straightening the elbows. Then we're gonna rotate outwards again and open to center. Twisting in and pressing forward. Yeah, so this is the complete set. And it is suggested to do at least three rounds of this complete set. Okay, and this is what we have been doing before we close. We've been doing three different rounds. So, with the spine also opening here, gently rounding the spine, bringing forward your pelvis, again opening, and here, as we stand here, our spine stays straight, 
yeah just dropping the sacrum down and crown point is always rising through the sky okay so we've reviewed the form we've reviewed the breaths and now let's do our final round and in this round uh, it's just going to be a silent round yeah i've already explained you everything but in this last round i want you to just feel into the form tiger in china and white tiger in china is considered to be a king of all the anim elements animals so it's uh, an animal that the kings would put on their emblems when they go into the war so tiger symbolizes power strength and as you could see it's a very strong form yeah we have this root through our legs deeply down holding this heart stance and then opening up resting forward so give it power you know you can connect with the animal itself bring in the power and metal also it's the element of chopping down so again very strong and powerful so again keep this in mind and just go at your own pace you can follow my pace you can go a little uh, longer and remember the breast in qigong is guiding the movement so the breath, your breath should determine what pace you're gonna go with all right so let's start again this is the silent practice so just feel the energy flow and don't think too much about the details going to come up put your hands by the sides feet shoulder width apart feeling the chi in your fingertips Two gate breathing here. And we're going to close together. So inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to flush out grief and stress from the lungs. Inhaling joy and happiness. And filling the lungs with white light. Hands by the sides. Slow deep breaths into your lungs. See them filled with this white light. Feel them balanced. And we're 
we're going to bring our hands over the dantian again right hand first and left hand over it for women and the opposite for men feet are shoulder width apart parallel to each other grabbing the ground with 10 percent tension rooting into the earth your sacrum is dropping down and your crown point is rising to the sky your spine is elongated feel yourself in between heaven and earth And bring attention to your lower dantian. See this white light that we brought in accumulating in your lower dantian into the small white pearl. And we're expanding this pearl on the inhale and compressing it gently on the exhale, packing the chi. Inhale, expand the pearl in your lower dantian. And on the exhale, compress it gently, storing the energy. One more breath, inhale, expand the white pearl. And on the exhale, pack everything, pack the chi. Storing. Gently open your eyes. We're gonna give it a little chi shower to ourselves. So put your hands over the eyes. Brush through your head a little bit, your face, neck, tapping down through your hands. So today we learned tiger, a powerful animal form for the lungs. Yeah, tiger belongs to the five elements. And uh, what are the emotions associated with lungs? Grief and stress. Yeah, and we replenish it. We bring in joy and happiness to create a natural balance in our lungs. Okay, so very good. Thank you for tuning in with me. And now let's see if you have any questions. I can answer a couple of questions before we finally close. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so I recommend to practice Qigong, I mean, as much as you can, really but I would say at least three times per week. This would be like the bare minimum, but if you can do five days, it's, it's perfect. But again, you should see for yourself, don't, um, don't get your body too tight. Three times, um, well, depending what you do. I don't know what your sequence is. If it's the tiger, just do as much as you feel you need. It should be all by listening to your body. We don't like prescribe exact time, but if you want me to do it, maybe around an hour at least. Yeah, maybe less. So depending what, what is the intensity of the Qigong that you're doing. But again, always we listen to the body. We never just go by what people tell, tell us because our body knows best. So yeah, just listen. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, thank you very much for joining me today. Next class, 
I'll be teaching you dragon whips and tail. And dragon whips and tail is total opposite to the tiger. Yeah, tiger is very strong and powerful, and dragon whips and tail is from the eight trigram chico. So it's a very flowy movement. Yeah, I'll show it to you. So there is no pauses, and we just flow into it. Nice and flowy. So this movement works really well for your spine, for your spinal health, for your brain health, because all the nerves uh, connect your brain and your other organs through the spine. So it's very important that you take care of your spine. And uh, Dragon Whips Tail also gives a very nice massage to our organs, yeah, to our kidneys, liver, spleen. So, and it has this dragon back incorporating in it that works. It's a very simple, it's complicated to do, but it's a very simple movement that brings in the flow of energy and it energizes our three channels, yes, yeah, three dantians. We're gonna have a different positions bringing in the energy. Also, I wanted to mention that at the end of the Qigong practice today, as you can see, we pat the chi. This is very important. So never go, never finish your Qigong without packing the energy because you're building all this energy and you better pack it that, and we can use it later for whenever we need it, yeah, wherever our body needed to use it. So thank you very much for being today with me. And we're gonna finish with uh, bowing out. So put your right hand into a fist and put your left hand over it, gently spreading the fingers. And at White Tiger Qigong School, we usually finish with the five virtues. So you can repeat after me or you can just listen to them. Wisdom, benevolence, sincerity, courage, patience. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining me today. Next class will be on uh, Monday again, next week. And I'm going to announce it on my Qigong Lady page and the White Tiger page as well. So yeah, just follow the pages and I'll see you next. Okay, let's see if we have any final questions before I end this live. Yes, well, we're gonna do, we're gonna experience with different movements. Thank you, thank you very much, Michael. Thank you, Aki. <laughs> uh, my page is uh, White Tiger, uh, sorry. So White Tiger Qigong for the main page, our, my uh, school page. So you can find us on Instagram or you can find us on uh, Facebook and my personal page where I do my personal posts is called Qigong Lady. So once I save, I'll, try, I'll save this video and I'll put the links below the video if I can. Yeah. So, okay. So thank you very much and I'll see you next Monday. Okay. Yeah. We're going to repeat the five virtues every class, but they are wisdom, benevolence, sincerity, courage, and patience. Okay, thank you, bye bye.